My name's Stuart Forster and uh, got a special guest here today and it's Polly McGraw of Reed and Polly, I understand that you're busy at the moment organising the WTCE in Hamburg. So for people who don't know what the WTCE is, can you explain that and give them a little ov overview of its significance within the industry? Yeah, absolutely. And Stuart, firstly, I want to really thank OBH for giving me this opportunity. So yes, um, for those of you that haven't had the privilege of attending WTC before, it, it is regarded in the industry as the leading global event for in-flight catering, onboard services and the passenger comfort sector. So this will actually be the 11th edition in June and will bring together attendees from global, regional and low cost airlines, as well as rail companies to network, do business and really collaborate with brands throughout the onboard supply chain across what is an annual event, three days and held in Hamburg, Germany. The show, in essence, is really all about providing a world of inspiration to enhance the onboard experience. So it's an exciting, vibrant event that really allows visitors to immerse themselves in the latest products and innovations. And, you know, your question about what the significance WTC holds for the industry is, is particularly poignant currently. You can really never underestimate its significance. It acts as a real catalyst for driving business forward. Of course, it wouldn't be what it is without the loyal exhibitors that surprise us year on year with showcasing new and outstanding products. We've got companies that people will have heard of ranging from the large airline caterers such as LSG, Cuisine Solutions, Sats Catering and Donata, those amenity kit and comfort product providers such as Formia, Kalis, Buzz and Linstall, to those small independent producers who, who, are, who are coming to the show with chocolate cocktails and coffee, all really looking to meet with key procurement teams of onboard product. So it's all about sourcing those hidden gems and products to enhance the onboard experience. In addition to that, Stuart, it's also really important to know that WTC is often used as a launch pad for companies who are wanting to enter the sector for the first time. So we always see an array of first time exhibiting companies coming. So WTC is truly a global event. Um, exhibitors are predominantly from Europe, the US and Asia, and visitors are the commercial global airlines, catering companies, and also the rail operators. So no, it really is a global event, despite the fact that it takes place in Germany. So how many delegates and how many companies do you anticipate being present this year? So this year we are expecting to exceed the expectations um, compared certainly to 2022, which was our restart year after COVID. So we're expecting to see some 5,000 attendees across the three days of the show, and that will include 750 onboard buyers from commercial airlines and rail companies and more than 250 exhibiting companies um, who've already signed up. And that also includes 62 new companies that will be exhibiting for the first time at the event. So we opened registration last month and have already seen a significant increase in registrations versus 2022. So we're optimistic and confident that we'll see a high quality attendance once again, certainly with more representation from those Asian carriers um, that sadly last year weren't able to attend due to the ongoing travel restrictions. So far, I can say that we've already had 103 unique airlines register to attend. So it's actually looking on par with the 2019 event, which was the last pre-COVID in-person event. Fantastic. And of course, not forgetting the rail operators. Um... No, of course not. <laughs> so we're really fortunate to work very closely with um, the IRCA, the International Rail Catering Association. And um, we're already set to see a strong contingent of the rail operators present once again. And I believe at the moment it looks like we've got 12 operators registered so far. Where can people find out more about who's going to attend the WTCA? The website is really the Bible for the event. Um, we have a dedicated section on our exhibiting companies and people can literally just use the search tool to filter through different sectors to find the companies that they're looking for. 
In addition, we have what we call the WTC Connect tool that we launched last year. And this is an online platform that allows attendees to pre-arrange meetings ahead of the event with exhibitors and visitors who are already registered to attend. And so for you, what makes this a must visit event for both providers of onboard services and buyers? I think the opportunities available at WTC for both providers of onboard services and buyers is, is unparalleled. Um, the sheer vo volume of innovation that exhibitors bring to the show floor continuously delights and inspires. It really is a treat for the senses, actually. Similarly, exhibitor feedback is resoundingly positive, especially when it comes to the quality of attendees they meet and the leads they secure off the back of WTCE. Ultimately, what we're trying to achieve here is provide the perfect platform to network and, and ultimately do business. Sounds really good. I'm excited about going because I'm going to be a first time <laughs> attendee. Now, yeah. what should a first time attendee such as myself expect when I walk into that hall at the Hamburg Messe? It's a good question, Stuart. A world of inspiration, literally. There is always so much to discover and learn and certainly plenty to experience, see and taste with live chef demos, plenty of delicious samples and products to touch and feel. In fact, my recommendation is to pace yourself and make sure that you leave plenty of space in your luggage for all the goodies you'll acquire during the show. But but really, more importantly, I, I do recommend that first time attendees plan ahead to ensure they really optimise their participation. Certainly booking your hotel now is a top tip of mine as rooms do book up fast in Hamburg. And we can support with Hotel Map, which is our official hotel provider, and you can find their details on the website. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot of business undertaken in Hamburg mm. uh, over the three days of the event. So what kind of volume? can we expect what kind of numbers can you um anticipate that's always a really difficult question to answer as um very few companies understandably will actually share that information um but one thing is for sure if your job is in the onboard hospitality sector then wtc is a must attend event for you to ensure you just don't miss out on any of those potential business opportunities i've been to hamburg a couple of times i think it's a great city yeah but why was it chosen in the first instance as the venue for the WTCE? And uh, what does it offer for people who are attending when they're not actually stood there or sat there in the hall where the WTCE is taking place? Yeah, so locating WTC in Hamburg is, is actually historical. As WTC is co-located co with our sister event, Aircraft Interiors Expo, which is now in its 23rd edition um, and is the leading event for the cabin interiors industry. So Hamburg has always been the obvious choice for both of the events to sit together as it's home to the largest aircraft interiors hub in the world with both Airbus and Lufthansa Technik based there. The reason we co-locate the events uh, is because combined they really provide the full spectrum of the end-to-end -end interior supply chain and perfectly complement each other and we also find that the airlines just like to be able to attend both events at the same time and it encourages a larger delegation from those commercial airlines year on year. You talk about visiting Hamburg so I actually never had been to Hamburg until I started to work on the show back in 2015 and um, it's really something of an undiscovered gem for most people. It's actually known as the Venice of the North. I don't know if you knew that. Um, and it has more canals, apparently. And for anyone who has time to actually explore what the city has to offer, it does have a wealth of attractions. The venue itself, the Hamburg Messe, is right in the city centre, which is very, very unusual for a large Congress uh, centre now. It's just 20 minutes from the airport and well located for all the hotels and restaurants and all the nightlife that Hamburg has to offer. And right across there's the Plantenham Blumen Park, isn't there, which is a lovely place for a little bit of a stroll if you want to just get some fresh. Oh, air. if you have time, Stuart, only if you have time. But actually you walk across there to get to the venue where we host the Passenger Experience Conference, which I think you'll probably be asking about me about in a little while. <laughs> so... The uh, delegates who do arrive into the city a day before WTC gets going can attend the Passenger Experience Conference on June yeah. the 5th. Yeah. Um, what is it and how do people register? 
Yeah, so as you've just rightly said, it actually takes place a day ahead of the start of WTC and takes place in the Congress Centre um, in Hamburg, which is a separate venue, um, but very close to the Mesa. And the conference is really all about providing the catalyst for the industry. It brings experts and industry visionaries together to discuss the future of the passenger experience. And this year, the conference will deliver a number of sessions which are far more geared towards WTCE attendees that will enable them to really get ahead in an increasingly competitive industry. So a couple of the sessions that I just like to highlight, we've got preparing for 2030 and a new travel landscape to setting new standards for passenger comfort and then succeeding in a green revolution. That's looking at how the passenger experience community is innovating and readying itself to reuse, repurpose and recycle the cabin interior and its onboard services. Attendees really will leave this year's conference with a better understanding of the future of the trend shaping air travel before then heading into WTC the following day. If anyone would like to register, um, the full day conference is actually followed by the welcome party that is also included in the delegate fee. And you simply go online to passengerexperienceconference.com to register. Thanks for explaining that. What do you foresee being the highlights of this year's WTCE? Yeah, that's always a really difficult question to answer, um, especially this close to show. Um, because so many, so many exhibitors use WTC as a launch pad for new products, and they are often closely guarded secrets until the opening day of the show. But that's really exactly what makes WTC exciting and worth attending. So if you're looking for educational content and want to stay abreast of the latest trends, then certainly the Taste of Travel programme is always a highlight for all attending. And that's really driven by the impressive lineup of speakers um, that Joe Austin brings together, of course, uh, together with OBH that we have discussing topical issues shaping the industry right now. New for this year, we have the wellbeing walkthrough. Now, um, that's really a feature not to be missed for buyers interested in any food, drink, beauty and amenity kit products that can really improve a passenger's wellbeing while traveling. So, um... The significance of well-being really came to the fore, didn't it, during the lockdown? Can you go into a little bit more detail about the well-being walkthrough and its probable highlights? Yeah, no, of course I can. So, so we're seeing more and more research that shows how the population has become increasingly interested in their personal well-being since the pandemic. The food choices they make, hygiene, skincare, sleep or mindfulness, these are all areas that are important to consumers. And as such, a myriad of companies have naturally launched and developed innovative products that, that promise to meet those well-being needs. And what we found, particularly this year at WTC, is that we really do have a wide variety of exhibitors that have products suited to passenger well-being. So we really introduced the well-being walkthrough to highlight those exhibitors and visitors will be signposted to those companies offering well-being solutions both at the show and if they also download the app beforehand. In addition to that, actually, just want one more thing that I'd like to mention. We, we're also really fortunate this year that... Um, we have been working with a professor, Charles Spence, from Oxford University, and he's he's a professor of psychology, um, and he has actually produced a collaborative report with key uh, stakeholders within the industry to highlight new research and key areas for airlines to consider when looking to improve on their passenger well-being experiences. Sounds interesting. I'd like to know a bit more about that. So yeah. along there. What about your VIP program at WTC? Um, who's it for? Uh, and really, what are the details? Yeah, so we've been running a VIP program for um, commercial airlines, rail operators and those key catering procurement teams whose attendance at WTC each year is really pivotal to its success. So these are individuals who are representing brands that have a powerful role to play in creating the future of the passenger experience. Individuals do have to be pre-qualified buyers. And then in return, they are offered um, an exclusive programme that offers them a number of benefits before and during the event. 
And this includes a VIP sample bag of exhibited goodies, access to a VIP lounge, plus a discounted rate for the passenger experience conference on the Monday. So what kind of networking can people who attend expect at WTCE? Unlimited is the short answer to that one, Stuart. The level of opportunity to network at the event really sets WTC apart. Um, and we find that year after year, visitors and exhibitors alike are delighted with the connections um, that they're able to actually make. And that's both reconnecting with the existing and also meeting, meeting new business contacts. It's really all driven by delivering a quality um, attendee and also the quality of the exhibitors and the product that they have. We really, really do always find ourselves almost, almost overwhelmed by the innovation that is on the show floor and how the exhibitors are able to really provide those solutions and ultimately provide airlines with the products that they are genuinely looking for at the right time. What about the WTCE Connect tool? Um, what is that and how can attendees maximise its use? Yeah, so I mentioned it, I mentioned it previously. Um, we launched it last year and it was a resounding success for both exhibitors and visitors. It's, it's a simple online show planning platform and it enables all attendees to make the most of their time at the event and easily discover new contacts and arrange meetings prior to arriving at the show. So all an attendee needs to do is pre-register for the event and then they can automatically gain access to the platform. They only need to complete a simple registration questionnaire and then the tool will match their responses to relevant products, services and exhibitors who are at WTCE this year. Taste of travel. Now that's been an element of WTCE for quite some time. Yeah. What is it that makes it such a hit? Good question. The taste of travel feature is consistently one of the highlights of WTCE. Visitors don't only attend the show to discover the latest innovations that exhibitors have on their stands, but they also attend to learn from leading industry experts. So run in partnership for a number of years now with, with yourselves, with OBH, the taste of travel sessions really deliver insightful advice and knowledge from those at the forefront of new trends, new research, and those emerging technologies. And I think best of all, Joe does a terrific job of, of packaging it in a way that it's easy to comprehend with real life examples and actions that, that can be taken as a result. The Taste of Travel Theatre is also going to be used for the Onboard Hospitality Awards uh, on June the 6th. So thanks very much for letting us use it for that purpose. Hopefully yeah. we can see you there. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll absolutely be there to celebrate with the winners. Good stuff. And now looking forward to 2024, the dates of this show are going to change, aren't they? Yeah. Um, why is that? And what dates should delegates block in their 2024 diary? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to be moving back from 2024 onwards to our usual spring date line that we always had pre-COVID. So we chose June for the 2022 show last year due to the ongoing travel restrictions that were still in place in Q2, which would have rendered it impossible to actually run the show in Hamburg in the spring. And again, we decided to opt for the later June date this year to ensure that the industry was on a stronger recovery trajectory that I'm pleased to say has indeed proven to be the case. But yes, from 2024 onwards, we'll be going back to our usual spring date. April 9th to the 11th, 2024. April 9th to the 11th. Great stuff. So, um, personally, what are you looking forward to most about the WTCE? So, I think there's a couple of things. Definitely, definitely some of the taste of travel sessions. I'm really looking forward to the burnt chef session and the one on anxiety at 35,000 feet, whatever that really means. Um, but I do believe that we're going to be looking at food safety with a stellar panel lined up that will include Singapore Airlines and Iberia on that particular panel. But ultimately, if if I have the opportunity, I always really enjoy having having the chance to explore the latest product launches and and meet the exhibitors as well, and 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 certainly also spend time spent time networking with the airlines to understand what value they're they're really um, getting from attending WTCE. Polly, you've been a wealth of information about what we can anticipate <laughs> for this year's show. 
Is there anything else you would like to say before we close? I think I would say, so we're, we're doing this interview just shy of seven weeks away from the event. So if you are planning on attending WTC this year, the sooner you register, the better, really to ensure that you have ample opportunity to prepare well in advance of the show. Ultimately, I, I really look forward to the doors opening and welcoming everybody on June the 6th to meet again face to face. Thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate you going through those things. Thank you, Stuart.